I have to give credit where credit is due. The Houston Texans made a spectacular hire today. I don't know if it was David Cully. I don't know if it was Nick Casario. But what the Houston Texans did is they got rid of Mike Devlin, which was fantastic. The offensive line has been awful for multiple years. Even with all the telling you invested in, you invest, you, you spent two first round picks on Lerman Tunso, a second run on Titus Howard. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, a first run on Titus Howard, a second run on Max Sharpin, a second run on Nick Martin, and you know you picked up Zach Fulton. And this offensive line hasn't been good at all. They haven't. They've shown flashes of being great, but they haven't been good at all. Now that James Chapman is here, I am excited about what he could do with his offensive line. He spent most of his career in Green Bay, spent about 11 years here in three different years. He had the number four ranked offensive line, the number three ranked offensive line in 2016, had the number two offensive line. And we saw how good Aaron Rodgers was when that offensive line was just spectacular. And I'm I'm really super excited to what, you know, to what he could bring. Now, he did have a stint in Cleveland where they had the 16th best offensive line. And then what happened as soon as he left, they invested heavily in tackles and guards, and they became great. And if you look at, you know, his last stop was the Los Angeles Chargers where they had one of the worst offensive lines in the NFL. We had one as well, but it wasn't due to talent. The Los Angeles Chargers offensive line had exactly no type of talent whatsoever, and the Houston Texans do. We have talent, we just don't have the coaching. And now we need, you know, you know, James Cameron to come in and develop that talent. Mike Devlin was really learning from Laramie Tunsil how to be a good offensive line coach. And, you know, now you wonder why, you know, Brandon Brooks didn't really ball out until he left here. Chris Jones didn't really ball out until he left here. Um... It's time to bring back the you know the good offensive line that the Houston Texans had. Remember when Arian Foster was just getting just having holes just wide open because of a great offensive line. And the Houston Texans are gonna be in the process of building one. If I'm Deshaun Watson, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy because I know this offensive line has ten. Like I said, we've invested so much, and now we're gonna have someone who's gonna come in and knows how to put together a winning offensive line, a Super Bowl offensive line, a playoff offensive line, you have to be damn excited, right? Because I said a lot of things last year. I said I don't want what happened to Andrew Luck to happen to Deshaun Watts, where he gets keep on getting hit and hit and hit. There was at one point we were worried about Deshaun Watson. We worried about the longevity of his career with the current offensive line has, and now it's absolutely gone. And I love this offensive coaching staff. I really do. I think it's going to do wonders. You know, when you bring in a Pep Hamilton, a James Cabin, when you retain Josh McCown, when you bring in, um, is it David Prince, the wide receiver coach who came from the Lions? This offensive line is, I'm sorry, this whole offense as a whole is going to be much better than next year's. Then I'm sorry, it's going to be much better than last year's. I always say this. The offensive line is the building foundation of the offense. When you have an offensive line, you could run, you could play action, and you could pass. We saw how dangerous this, you know, this offense could be with a passing type of offense. Now I want to see them with the balanced type of offense because they knew when we were going to run the ball. They knew when we weren't going to run the ball. They knew we had one of the worst rushing attacks in the NFL, mainly because of Tim Kelly, mainly because of the offensive line, mainly because you know David Johnson wasn't even that good until the last two games where he decided to ball out. But this is a situation now where the Houston Texans offense is bright. Let's say we trade Watson. Whoever comes in at QB is going to have a damn good offense line when they get here. Like I said, Watson's not getting traded. But, hey, you know, things happen. I'm just excited. I really am. The Houston Texans knocked this pick out of the park. If you think they did it, then you're just being stupid. You're just being naive and you're just being a hater. The Houston Texans had a great hire today, and I really hope he does good. I really hope he makes his offense a top 10 offensive line and watch this offense even do better than what they did last year. Let me know what you think, guys. As always, go Houston Texans. You guys have a blessed day.